sample problem 27.02 resistors in parallel and in series the figure shows a multi loop circuit containing one ideal battery and four resistances with the following values r1 equal to 20 ohm r2 equal to 20 ohm and r3 equal to 30 ohm and r4 which is equal to 8 ohm and the emf of the battery is 12 volt in the first part of the question we are going to find what is the current through the battery for calculating the current value first you have to see the circuit diagram so in this circuit diagram we have one battery and four resistors and the most important thing if you just clearly see this part r3 resistor and r2 resistors are arranged in parallel so once you apply the parallel rule for this r2 and r1 r2 and r3 we can easily simplify the circuit diagram and that will be very easy for getting the value of the current so what i am going to do in the first part i am going to apply the parallel rule for this r2 and r3 so the resistors in parallel so i am going to apply the parallel rule for resistors r2 and r3 so what is the rule one over r equivalent for the resistors second and the third which is equal to 1 over r2 plus 1 over r3 now i have to simplify this so r2 r3 i'm going to take as a common so in the top you'll get r3 plus r2 and this is 1 over r equivalent so we have to modify this r equivalent so therefore the r equivalent of the resistors 2 and 3 which is equal to r2 multiplied by r3 divided by r2 plus r3 clear i just simplify take the reciprocal of this equation so we got this now i have to substitute the value we have all the values here r1 r2 sorry r2 and r3 values we have so first let's we find the value of r2 3 therefore this of r equivalent resistance will change as r of 2 3 which is equal to i'm going to substitute the value so in the question they give the value of this r2 what is the value so 20 multiply with this r3 which is 30 divided by 20 plus 30 so we have to find the value of r23 so let's be very let's be see what is the answer for this 20 multiplied by 30 over 20 plus 30 so we got the answer here as 12 ohm what is the answer here 12 ohm so here if you now how your circuit diagram will look so let's we just redraw this diagram so after we find apply the parallel rule your circuit diagram will be modified as so better i can just draw the diagram here so your circuit diagram will be look like this you have a battery positive terminal and the negative terminal so this is your r1 and then we have because we already apply the parallel rule for this so now this resistors now we combine so this is the resistors value of r2 and 3 because after you apply the parallel rule for this r2 and r3 your circuit diagram will be modified like this and then we have one more resistors here so now this is your r1 value r1 resistor after you apply the parallel rule your circuit your resistors this is r23 and this one is r4 and here we have the emf of the battery so now you can see we simply modify that equation now it will be very easy for calculating the value of the current so now what is the direction of the current the current will be going like this let's we take the current is i1 we are just going to take the current here is y1 so the i1 current is going through the circuit so i have to apply the loop rule so what is the loop rule as i already mentioned the algebraic sum of the emf which is equal to the algebraic sum of the current the product of the resistance and its respective current so emf which is equal to i1 multiplied by r1 plus i1 multiplied by r23 plus i1 multiplied by r4 so we are going to find the value of i1 so let's we take i1 as the common term so r1 plus r23 plus r4 left hand side we have the emf of the battery so now how i can write i can just write these as we, got, we, we are going to find the value of i1 so that for i1 which is equal to emf divided by r1 plus r23 plus r4 so what is the emf of the battery 
So in the question, they give the value of the battery value is 12 volt. So 12 volt is the EMF of the battery and R1 is 20 ohm plus and R23 just before we found the answer as 12 ohm. So R23 is 12 and what is the value of R4? R4 is 8 ohm. So now I have to find the answer for the current I1. So let's see what is the answer for this. So therefore I1 which is equal to 12 divided by 20 plus 12 plus 8. Here I got the answer as 0 0.3 ampere. So what is the value of this I1? 0 0.3 ampere. So this is the answer for the first part. And we have two more questions. In the second part of the question, we are going to find what should be the current through resistors R2. The most important thing, when you just come here, the most important thing, you have to just go back to your theory. So what you study, I just want to recall that. So if the resistors are arranged in parallel, because you are going to find I2 value here. So if you want to apply, so let's we just go back to our theory. If the resistors arranged in parallel, what is the rule? Potential across each resistors will be same and the current across the each resistors will be different. Likewise, for the series, it will be opposite. Potential is different for across each resistors and the current in each resistors will be same because we are going to use this. Okay. Okay. Now, in the first part, because in this question, we are going to find the value of I2. That means what should be the current in R2? First of all, you have to see this. If you just see this R2 and R3, both are parallel. Right? So if it is parallel, what we study? The potential will be same. So therefore, the potential across the resistors 2 and 3, which is equal to the current, which is I1, because that I1, we found the answer in the first part. The current multiplied by the resistors across 2, 3. So that's the R2, 3. So if you want to find the value of R23, because we need this answer. So the voltage across the resistors R2 and R3, because we are applying the Ohm's law, V, which is equal to IR. So through this, I'm going to find the value of R23, so V23. So what is the current value? In the first part, we found the current value as 0 0.3 multiplied by R23 also we found in the first part, which is 12 Ohm, so which gives the answer of 0 0.3 multiply with 12, the value for this V23 is 3.6 volt. And the most important thing, if the resistors are arranged in parallel, your potential is same. That means your V23, which is equal to V2, which is equal to V3, right? I'm just applying the rule, what we studied in the theory. If the resistors are arranged in parallel, the potential across each resistors will be the same. So if V23, you have means, what should be the voltage across R2? Same value. What should be the voltage across R3? Same value. Because V23, which is equal to V2, which is equal to V3. Now, I am going to apply the Ohm's law again for this question. So what is our Ohm's law? We are going to find the value of I2. Therefore, V2, which is equal to I2 multiplied by R2, right? And through this, I'm going to find the answer of I2. Therefore, I2, which is equal to V2 over R2, and V2 value is nothing but 3.6 divided by, what is the value of R2? Just go back. I think it's 20 ohm, right? So I have to go back to the question. So our R2 value is 20 ohm. So I have to use this value clear 20 ohms so what is the answer therefore i2 which is equal to 3.6 divided by 20 i got the answer here as 
0 0.18. So this is the answer for the second question. Now we have to find the same type of calculation in the part C. What should be the value of I3? What should be the value of I3? Again, Ohm's law. V3, which is equal to I3 multiplied by R3. And we are going to find the value of I3. Therefore, I3, which is equal to V3 over R3. So what is this V3? As I already mentioned, your V23, which is equal to V2, which is equal to V3. So I can take the value of this 3.6 for V3 also. And what should be the value of R3, which is already given in the question. So the value of R3, which is equal to 30 ohms. And what is your V3? V3, which is equal to 3.6, because I just considered this, if the resistance is arranged in parallel, the voltage 2, 3, which is equal to voltage 2, which is equal to voltage 3. That means the voltage across the resistors 2 and 3, which is equal to the voltage across resistor 2, which is equal to the voltage across resistor 3. Now, I'm going to substitute the value 3.6 divided by 30. So let's see what is the answer. 3.6 over 30. So 0 0.12. So this is the answer, and the unit for the current is ampere. Clear? That's it. Thank you. So that means the value of the I3, which is equal to 0 0.12 ampere. I think we can just prove this in another way because if the resistors are arranged uh, in uh, parallel, What's the rule? Current is different, right? So that means I1, which is equal to I2 plus I3. And here we are going to find the value of I3. Through this way, way also, you can cross-check your answer. So let's we check whether our answer will come 0 0.12. So this is the rule. So what is the rule? If the resistors are identity in parallel. So the current is, is different. So I1, which is equal to I2 plus I3. So I3 which is equal to I1 minus I2. So what is the value of I1? I have to go back to the first part. So what is the value of I1? Value of I1 is 0 0.3 ampere. 0 0.3 ampere. And I2 is 0 0.18 ampere. So 0 0.3 minus 0 0.18 gives the answer of 0 0.12 0 0.3 minus 0 0.18 the answer is 0 0.12 so that means the way what we solved in the first part is also right so if you want to use this part also the same calculation your answer will be right so the answer here is 1.0.12 ampere so which will be exactly match with the answer what we calculated earlier so as you can see through this way also you can calculate through this way also you can calculate. So both answers will be same. Clear? So this is the answer for the third part. That's it. Thank you.